Book one, proposition four of Euclid's Elements is the first non-construction proof in the book. So if two triangles have the two sides equal to two sides respectively, and have the angles contained by the equal straight lines equal, they will also have the base equal to the base, the triangle will be equal to the triangle, and the remaining angles will be equal to the remaining angles respectively, namely those which the equal sides subtend. So what all of this means is that if we start with two triangles, triangle ABC and DEF, and if the triangles have two sides that are equal, namely AB on this triangle equals DE on this triangle, and AC is equal to DF, and also the angle between these two sides are equal, then we know that the two triangles are completely equal to each other. And in this video, we will try and prove this. And in more modern terms, this is essentially proving the side angle side theorem. So to start this proof, what we're going to do is apply this triangle ABC to this triangle DEF. So what that means, to start, we're going to take this point A here and apply it to this point D. Or in other words, A will rest right on top of D. So we can label this as point A and point D now. The next step is to take this line AB and apply it to this line DE. So basically this line AB is going to fall right on top of the line AE and we know that this point B here is going to fall exactly on top of this point E because AB and DE are the exact same length. So we can label this point B here. The next step is to apply this line AC to this line here, DF. And since the angle between these two lines is equal in both triangles, we know that this line AC will fall out exactly on top of this line DF. And we also know that this point C here will lie exactly on this point F because AC and DF are the exact same lengths. So now we can label this point as C as well since it is now resting on top of F. And the essence of this proof comes from the fact that now we have all of these points A, B, and C coinciding exactly with D, E, and F. And this means that the line B, C has to be equal to the line EF. So BC has to equal EF. And this comes from common notion number four, which says that things which coincide with each other are equal to each other. And another consequence of the fact that all of these points are now coinciding with each other is that the triangles themselves are equal. So triangle ABC is equal to triangle DEF from this common notion number four. And one final conclusion we can draw using common notion number four is that these angles are equal to each other. So angle B has to equal angle E, but we also know that this angle F here has to equal this angle C. So angle F has to equal angle C. And at this point, we've proven everything we sought out to prove. And at the end of a proof, we could leave the letters Q, E, D. And this comes from the Latin quad erit demonstrandum, which essentially means that which was to have been demonstrated.